Perseverance rover mission is uh, really an outcome of decades of research and planning for astrobiology. It's just really the coming together of a lot of work and a lot of thoughts. The most exciting part about Mars Perseverance rover is it will look for signs of ancient life forms or the microbial life forms on Mars. We might actually have our first opportunity to find the best evidence for preserved traces of life. So Mars 2020 Perseverance is going to Jezero Crater. For my research, I'm really excited to see what the rover finds. What I'm really excited about uh, with this particular mission is the fact that we're actually going to bring you know, samples back from the surface. These are drill cores we're bringing back. And so we'll be able to look at chemistry at depth in those rocks. This will allow us to undertake the most sophisticated analyses that humans know how to do. I also hope that they would be filled with really juicy organic carbon molecules. A detection of a possible biosignature. Something that's really unambiguously biological in nature. And as an astrobiologist who spends my life working on biosignatures, there could be nothing better. And if it finds that, that's going to revolutionize what we think about the present day habitability of Mars. This is why we go and explore other worlds, is to find what's out there that we can't even imagine based on our experiences here on Earth. My mantra on this comes from Carl Sagan, who said that if it's just us, it seems like an awfully big waste of space. Perseverance just really shows how if you get a diverse group of very creative people together, you can solve problems that seem impossible. The fiery red planet Mars beckons. Go Perseverance and Ingenuity.